Hi, everyone. I am Fred Tiedemann. Uh, of course, my name on the book here is Friedrich Tiedemann, and Arabs call me Farid. But uh, this is my 101 Most Used Verbs book. I'm the author of it, Jordan Palestine. Um, this book is now in its third edition. Uh, we gave a little introduction on the book, so if you haven't seen that, please do. Um, I would like to talk to you today and give you just answer uh, questions that we've had from students. Um, about the book. How is the book used? Well, the book is used um, in personal study as a resource. Um, it's also used in tutoring as a tutoring tool. It's used uh, as well in the classroom. But today we're going to limit, I'm going to limit the discussion to just personal reference, how would you use it? And some of that, of course, can be applied to the other areas. But the book is a quite a large book. There's a lot of content in it. All right. So uh, let's start first, though, with talking about um, your level. That's the most important thing. The beginner level on an ACTFEL uh, scale, which is um, uh, what's used in the States mostly to grade people's or rate people's language abilities, if you are a beginner, there's basically four levels, uh, major levels. Uh, there's beginner, intermediate, advanced, and a new one for many of you, the superior level which is um, uh, the highest, well, basically one of the highest levels you can reach uh, as a native, I mean a non-native speaker. So, beginner level. Are you beginner level? If you, can, if you are not yet able to create sentences consistently, and you, but you mostly are speaking in just uh, numbering things, for example, one, two, three, واحد, نين, تلاتة, أربعة, خمسة, ستة, like this, or if you can name things, yeah, and you'd say, for example, هذا دو, you know, or you say هذا كرسي, or uh, هو ولد, uh, or something like that. Or if you can add adjectives, maybe, some limited adjectives, but you're not creating sentences, then you are a beginner, um, beginner speaker. Um, also, a beginner speaker has uh, phrases that they've memorized, like كيف um, حالك, uh, or uh, alhamdulillah, or assalamu alaikum, or ana um, mabsud, or ana mia, or kwayis. You know, those are all beginner functions. Okay, so if you're a beginner, let's talk about how you would use the book. All right, first, uh, the book has many sections, but for the beginner, you're going to be concerned only with really two uh, two areas of the book. The first one is the Listing of the 101 that comes right after the introduction uh, in the beginning of the book. All right, that lists the 101 verbs and it'll list the simple definitions from those verbs. The second section that you want to be concerned with um, as a beginner will be the broken plural section, which is uh, closer, uh, was after the inflection chart section. And you can find it, of course, the page number in the index. So those two sections are what you're going to need. All right. After you go to those sections, what are you going to do with the content in there? Basically, you're going to, you're going to make a chart. I mean, you're going to get a notebook. Or if you want to use, there's apps out there that do the same thing. But the idea is that we need to acquire this content and get it in our heads so that we can use it. How do you do that? Well, we need to have review dates where we review it, okay? So when we review it, we get it in our head slowly, slowly, and it gets in there really well, and then we can access it and we don't forget it. That's, inshallah, that is the goal. <laughs> so you're going to put five dates down. How do you do these dates? First, let's say we're starting January 1st. It's our New Year's resolution, right? So 1-1, one, one, all right, that is the first. And by the way, this is American uh, dating order. For those of you Europeans, uh, Europeans will flip it, okay? But this is the American system, so excuse that if you're European. But so we start, first review date is 1-1. One, one. We're going to make, we're going to write this up here first, and then we're going to put between 5 and 10 entries, okay? If you're really adventurous, you can put 10. But you better be ready for a lot of work because this get, this adds up as you put more and more list. But here we go. So we put one one. 
Then we put the day after this day. Then we put two days after the last day, which is 1-4. Then we put a week after that last date, which is 1-11, and another week after the last date. So one day, two days, week, week. All right, after this, so we got five dates. For those of you who um, are beginners, you may want to consider going to six dates. All right, six dates, which would be another week here, which would be 125, okay? Or for Europeans, 25, one. All right, now notice there's a squiggly here. That squiggly simply separates the kind of reviewing that you're doing. All right, the first two dates before the squiggly, on this date, the first, I'm going to review this. All right, so I have three more. Let's say I do a list of five. I have three more here, okay? I put the Arabic on this side, English on this side. The issue is, though, you need to know, I tell students, never ever learn a noun without its plural, never learn a verb without its, if it, you do a present tense, you need to know the past tense. If you, need to do the, if you have the past, you need to do the present. So that's what I did here. Beit, but, beit, but, house, houses. So I write the exact definition here, and then I write, there's the, the mufred, which is the singular, and jemer, which is the plural. Okay? Butte. Actually, I meant that, that dot should be there. Butte. Okay? So, qala, or al, or gal, uh, bi'ul. That is the past tense, he said, and this is the present tense, he says. Okay? So, there it is. In the first date here, I'm going to be guessing the easier. So I will cover up the English, and I will read each one. Bet, but, house, houses. Al, iul, or al, biul, excuse me. Al, biul, he said. Okay? He says. Now, I don't write he says here, just because that's my preference, but if you feel like writing, writing it down, that's fine, but you don't really need it. Um, so, it's now, I just reviewed it, all these, I go down and do the rest, I reviewed it, I crossed through there, okay? So now I have it crossed through. I go to the second day, which is tomorrow, I wake up, sometime during the day, I have a set time, I review it again. Same thing, all right? Uh, excuse me, I cover this up, Beit, Butte, House, Houses, El, Biud, He, said, boom, cross it out, all right? So, the third... The 3rd of January, what do I do? Nothing. Nothing. Do not do a thing. Do not be tempted to review it every day. Okay? Wait until the review date, then do that. So I wait till the 4th. The 4th is the date. I go through my notebook and I check whichever list have the 4th on it and then I review it. But this time, from this squiggly on out, I'm going to be covering the English and guessing the Arabic. So, house, houses. House is bet, but. And then I say, he said, al, biul. Okay? And don't beat yourself up if you don't get it right. Okay? All you need to do is review it. Um, a word that are harder for you, try to do some, some um, uh, association. Crazy association. So, then I want to go, and let's say I want to do another list. I put a line here, and then I go, let's say I want to do it start on the second. So I'll go one, two, one, three, one, what, five, yes, five, and then one, a week from this equals one, twelve, and then one, nineteen. Okay, squiggly, that's the first two. So the list, if I get to, if today is the fourth, and I finish this one, boom, there it is. I don't review anything tomorrow on this list, only I do this one, which is the fifth. So, this is a great way, it's called the notebook method, and it is a great way to acquire uh, vocab uh, for any level. Um, if you're an intermediate, you're able to create sentences. Um, if you're able to create sentences, that opens up for you more of the book. So what you want to do is, at that point, you can get into the sentences uh, that I have in the book, the sample sentences, uh, and then you can say, for example, here's a sentence, I fell off my bike and broke my arm. 
La Allah. God forbid that happened to any of us. But you fell off your bike, broke your arm. I fell off my bike and broke my arm. You don't need to hold, take the whole sentence. You're uh, intermediate level. Take what you can do. So challenging for you, but not impossible. And just say, okay, I'll take, I fell off my bike. All right? Uh, we're at men All right, so we're at That you write down, okay? And then you, so you've got parts of the sentences you're taking out. And you could have stuff like uh, phraseology, for example, you know, like I'm shocked. That's one of the part of one of the sentences in there. Anamasdum, you know, Mishadr Asadr. Okay, so. I am shocked. I can't believe it. Well, you write that in there. So you see how we're going? We're progressively adding more complexity to our entries. Um, and you'll know when you get to that level that you can do that. So, and, and all the while now, you're listening. A beginner, you're going to be listening to the broken plurals. Okay? Divide it up. Take a few pages and do those. Okay? But don't try to do the whole thing through. Do a few pages all right, in your audio and hit replay and keep listening to them whenever you have free time. For the intermediate, uh, anywhere from intermediate mid, which is like uh, people who are really pretty good at doing sentences, all right, simple sentences, all the way to advanced and superior, you're going to be taking, I suggest you go through, take two pages, if you're superior advanced, maybe four or five pages, put those on repeat. Okay, so you're repeating those pages, listening to them in your MP3, and that will be very helpful for you as you're using the notebook method as well. That will be very good. So, um, one other thing about, I'd say about advanced, higher advanced to superior level, these students, um, these students are able to speak in paragraph and then also to do longer discourse. So, they can speak for a long time, but they still have what's called circumelocution. Circumelocution, <laughs> might be even saying it, right? Circumelocution means that you're finding an easier way to say something, although there is a specific way that a native speaker would say it, you're trying, you're going around another way to say it, all right? So, uh, for example, um, instead of saying, um, um, we, uh, would you mind taking um, money out of my wallet for me? You know, yani tidr tool tulli hal masari min yani for example min al we could say for your from your bag or whatever shanta or whatever your suitcase or whatever um, you can or just dan as your wallet, but you can say that and then. Um, that would be superior level without circumlocution. But most people would say, uh, Okay? That is using one of the most used verbs, ata. But if you're a superior advanced level, you really need to pick up more verbs than what's in the 101. You need to master the 101, but you, what you want to do is go to this verb inflection chart all right, and you're going to get in and get these. There's another 700 verbs in here, and these are very much many of them are most used um, or highly frequently used verbs. In fact, in fact, probably about 95% of them are high frequency verbs that even many superior, some of them, many superior level speakers do not know or do not use. So, basically, the law, the, the better your entries, okay. Um, for a beginner, they're going to be shorter, more concise, but your goal is always getting to where you're lengthening in complexity, also and in complexity with your entries. Um, in your advanced, mid to higher, especially superior, that's where you get into doing enthal, um, idiomatic phrases and proverbs and such like that. Like, uh, like for example, um, well, that'll never happen. You know, what you'd say there would be fil mishmish. You know, you would say that. And then there's other proverbs that you might use as well. But these are getting into um, high, superior, advanced level stuff. 
Um, there may be some phrases that you would use as a beginner or intermediate as well. But um, the idea is to length, is to increase length and complexity. So I hope that was helpful for you, and I hope you enjoy the book. And if you have any questions, feel free to send an email. Um, if you like the book, don't forget to give us a great review on Amazon.com and recommend it to your friends. Thanks a lot.